Is your bed moving around a lot? Is it not staying level? Is one of the springs on one side real compressed and the other one real loose? Well, today we're going to change the springs on a stock Ender 3. My name is Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. <laughs> So just about every day on the forums, it's brought up about changing the stock springs out for these little yellow springs on the stock Ender 3 or any other model that didn't come with them. So today's video, we're going to go ahead and go through the change out. It's really simple. It's fast and easy. So this will be a quick video. Let's do it. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and remove the bed surface. If uh, you have one on, I took my glass off. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and remove the wheels from the bottom and I've done that as well. So I, I do them in pairs. I lower the front about halfway, lower the back about halfway, lower the front about the rest of the way and lower the back the rest of the way. Then all you're going to do is go ahead and lift your bed up and in some cases the springs might stay on. As you can see I already replaced mine but I wanted to show you that. So. Uh, in this case, I actually use the solid bed mounts from TH3D now. Um, so you can see the rear one is not a spring, but it's the same principle. Uh, you, would, you would lower this and put a spring in here, and then you would set it back down. Okay, so what I like to do is get the rear one in and be careful for this one because that will be where the uh, heated bed wires are and you don't want to wreck that. Um, I set my screws on the bed like this. And then I just go ahead and I get the rear one started um, on both sides here. And you might have to hold the top screw on the bed. And then I come down and I get all of them in. And eventually, after a second of playing with it, all of the screws will drop down onto the bed like that and you're set. Um, go ahead and tighten um, all the screws. I would use my uh, bed leveling method now and I'll link that in the picture, but you're good to go. So as I mentioned, I use the TH3D uh, solid bed mounts because uh, for my BL touch. So it's the same thing. You wanna make sure your mounts are in the right places. Go ahead and lower the screws into them and It'll fall into the holes when they're ready. Then go ahead and install your wheels. Or in my case, I use these little thumb locks. I really like those. Um, I'm not sure where they came from. I had a friend give me these. I lock them down um, front to back. With the solid mounts, you don't have to do that. You just tighten them on and you're good to go. So that's it. You've now replaced the springs on your stock Ender 3 or any other printer that has the same style bed springs. It was real easy. I know the video was really short, but I hope you guys learned something. And as always, keep printing. Please like the video, click subscribe if you want to see more, and click on the little bell if you want to be notified when the next great videos come out.